Hello everybody, my name is Aegis, and welcome back to the fire ring that is Red Hail Gaming. And today we are going to be playing Would You Rather, a game that uh, will reveal a lot about my personality. Whether it be dark, or whether it be something nice. Uh, so yeah, just uh, whatever I do in this video, please do not hate me for it. If I do something bad, which I hope I don't have to. Okay, let's get started here. Would you rather eat a five-course meal in front of ten starving children, or steal the bucket from five Salvation Army Santa... What's the bucket? Leave a comment saying what the bucket is. I don't know what it is. Nor do I have the energy to look it up. Because I mainly want you guys to uh, tell me. Uh... I don't know what the bucket is, so I guess I'd eat a five-course meal, because I, I know I definitely wouldn't be able to eat that one. Oh, come on. Okay. Would I rather find five dollars, or would you rather ha have your local WNBA team win the championships? I don't know what WNBA is, so I go with five dollars. <laughs> ah. Would you rather have Sarah Palin be president, or have Michael Bashman be president? I don't know who either of those people are. Could you leave a comment saying who those people are? Thank you. Oh. Okay. 50-50. That's lucky me. Would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life, or drink orange juice for the rest of your life? Well, orange juice has technically acid in it, uh, citric, citric acid in it, and that is not good for you. That could give you, uh, that could give you, uh, what's it called? Uh, acid reflux. So I go with milk. Oh, come on. Eh, well, then again, it's not even a game, so. Would you rather chocolate? Yeah, those are my people, my boys. Uh, when you rack up a new toilet paper roll, would you rather have it facing the wall or have it facing away from the wall? Well, I go with tradition, so I go with having it facing away from the wall. Okay, yep. Would you rather live forever until the end of the universe or die right now with no afterlife? Yep, uh, live forever. I want my legacy to live on. Uh, would you rather kill your daughter to save an entire country with, from, a from a huge catastrophe, or be the cause of a catastrophe that destroys a country? <sighs> I'm gonna get a lecture for this if I choose one of them. A lecture about life. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Um... I can't choose my answer. Uh, watching movie directly by Would You Rather. I only know one of these guys. It's Steven Spielberg. So there you go. If you could save lives through two ways, would you rather prevent World War II and all war-related deaths that went along with it, Holocaust included, or cure cure all forms of cancer and STDs, AIDS included? Well, my grandmother just recently died from cancer, so. I'm going to go with cure all forms of cancer and STDs, AIDS included. Okay, do you know how many people die from AIDS and cancer, from STDs and cancer? I don't, let's look it up. Here we go. CDC. 19 million people. Cancer. Uh. 
Okay, so it's five. Okay. STD. Ah, I'm hitting my setup. Um, calculator. Look, I'm not good with multiplying in my head very well, so let's see here. We got five nine five six zero six nine zero five nine five five nine five whatever. Uh Six nine zero. Six nine zero. Plus plus nineteen zero 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 zero. And there you go. That's how many people die each year from STD and cancer. How many people died in the Holocaust? million people so that means oh well if you think about it that was just a uh, that was just a one-time thing but if I could cure all of that then that would uh, mean that basically I would have prevented a whole lot more deaths so yeah let's keep going this is fun. Would you rather look as fat as Peter Griffin but actually be very healthy? Or look toned but actually be very... Well, I'm actually very skinny right now. So I guess I go with this. Well, I guess I could now tell... I guess I now know how many people watch Family Guy. Uh, would you rather travel the world, confine it to a wheelchair, or spend your whole life in the same... 20 mile radius. Well, I practically do that right now, so. 200 miles. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, would you rather only listen to the Beatles or only listen. Well, I have a whole playlist of Beatles. Like, only one. I, li I like to listen to Twist and Shout, so. There you go. Would you rather date someone who always looks 12 or date someone who. Mmm. Mmm. Don't judge me. Oh, wait, look at that. Those people are old, apparently. I don't know. Uh, would you rather lose your mind or lose your significant other? Well, I don't have some, I don't have any significant other right now. So I guess we'll go, I guess I'd go with losing your mind. Because I literally lose my mind, like, every day. Would you rather be a vegetarian and eat a, and love a meat eater or be a meat eater? It's the same thing, but it's uh, I get. I don't really like greens very much, so like, there you go. Would you rather be a third-string quarterback for a bad NFL team? Or be the MVP quarterback for the for the, for a arena football team. I guess this, you know, MVP. Uh, if you worked in a close proximity to a coworker all day, would you rather they had terrible uh, terrible bad odor or they played your least favorite music on repeat constantly? Well, I'm we literally wearing noise canceling headphones right now, so. I guess I go with that. Um, if you could be in a Broadway show, would you rather star in Wicked or in... I don't know what Wicked is. I do know what uh, Maze Runner is, and in that movie they say Wicked is good. So I just recently did a report on that, so... Anyway, 
Okay, so the last one. Would you rather a spouse with trees as arms or a spouse with alligator arms? Well, if she had alligator arms, then she'd look like a T-Rex in a sense. And also, she'd be able to clap her hands together like a seal. So... I mean, I want her to reach the top shelf if she was short, so... I go with that. Okay, guys. I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Leave a like and subscribe and a comment saying what game you would like me to play next. And... Please don't leave any hate comments. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.